Uh, welcome back to another video guys. Today I am here uh, in Sengkang with Mr. Simon and he has this giant TCR Advanced SL. Very nice looking bike Simon. Uh, thank you so much for reaching out to me on uh, Instagram and letting me f uh, film over bike. Um, over to you man. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to be on this channel. I'm Simon here. So with me to, is my bike that sticks to me. That's giant TCR Advanced SL uh, 2021 model. Uh, apparently, Giant has already released their latest model, which is the 2022. Uh, While well, I still like this uh, 2021 because of the colorway, and the reason why I chose this uh, compared to uh, these bricks is because, right, uh, when I built this, when I have this bike, right, it was actually carried over with components from my previous bike. Uh, my previous bike was a uh, Bobman. Okay. Yeah, and you can see here some of these components are brought over but uh, others are being brought new okay the group set that i have right now is a uh, stram ray 11 speed e tap and the rotor that I'm, uh, the crank that i'm using is from this brand called roto so it's the aldu uh, in fact there's there's a, a higher version than this that's called the aldu carbon but i didn't go for that because uh, the price to pay for the carbon was actually like twice more than uh, this uh, version that i'm having right now uh the crank is a uh, 50 5236 right now go for this rotor is because uh, I like the way that it it looks like it's aesthetically pleasing enough and the uh, chain ring itself is a one piece uh, aluminium um, yeah I like it because of the the way it looks uh. you told me this group set was from uh, China right I never heard this group set before can you tell us oh uh, yeah the wheel set was from China so it's from this brand called Elite so uh, they make their own rims and hubs and they're quite a big supplier down there so i got this from ali uh yeah i understand that uh, we we should try to avoid uh, buying wheels from uh, china especially you know sourcing through ali but i did quite a bit of work there research and they got quite a massive group of uh, supporters and as well as a uh, very good raving reviews uh, that's why i, I felt that uh, let's go for it and see how it goes um, this wheels was uh, slightly uh, more than 700 plus. So the fact about these wheels is that uh, they're pretty light. So we are take, talking about 1.5 kilo for this uh, rim brake setup. And the brake surface that they are having right now is uh, crystal brake. They call themselves crystal brake, but you can see that they got this wave pattern. So it will increase your braking efficiency when you're riding in the wet. Yeah, the hubs, I, I really can't comment much about the hub, but uh, it seems like they are in-house hub and the rolls pretty well so they claim that these are made from uh, ceramic bearings which is uh, what the in thing about uh, bearings right now yeah it was primarily because of uh, price uh. and also uh, i wanted something that is uh, decent to look at but not too expensive to own yeah i actually also look at wind space before i make this decision but back then if i recall right wind space doesn't really have much stock on, on the rims uh. they're going more f towards uh, this yeah i could have gone for wind space actually there was a very close fight between both of them yeah this handlebar was uh, again from another uh, china ma manufacturer and you can see that the looks itself right is similar to the canon cp10 i recall so I go for this is because, uh, yeah, I, I could have bought a Canon straight out from, from them using the CP10, but, you know, it bear the logos of the ca Canon, and then on the Giant doesn't really look like a match. I got this also from Ali, and the quality was also good enough. And, yeah, again, before I bought anything from China, I usually will go through reviews and, uh, you know, start to do all my Googling to make sure that the stuff that I'm purchasing is of a uh, decent quality. Yeah, the bike itself, I recall, is about 200 plus. This was carried over from my previous bike. have weighted it myself. Um, it seems to be around 6.5 kilo at this uh, current setup here. Total cost, let, let, let us uh, break it down for, for, for um, calculation purposes, right? So the frame itself is uh, 3,006 for and then the group set um, is about um, 2000 plus okay. and then roto and stuff like that so easily add up to be i think close to 6000 for this setup okay. yeah the saddle is from cadex um, this is one of the top end uh, saddle that uh, cadex have to offer or giant per se have to offer i particularly like this saddle is because uh, it's lightweight it's about 140 gram and full carbon 
and you don't really give you a much of a discomfort. You know, the problem with lightweight saddle is like usually when you go light, they sacrifice a lot of comfort because of uh, the foam or whatever that they use, right, has been reduced significantly to keep the weight down. But for this saddle, I like it and it really works for me. I've tried this uh, x works equivalent. Uh, I won't say equivalent, but like uh, S-Work kind of uh, saddle that can achieve this weight, but not offering this comfort. So and this, this is highly recommended for people out there that's looking for um, saddles that is uh, lightweight and good. Okay, these cables was uh, from from China as well. I really can't recall what's the brand, but it was supposed to be like alligator links. So they are least links, links together, right? Uh, to form the flexibility when the cables run through them. I chose this over the traditional cable is because of, again, weight. If you could easily save like 20 gram, I know it's not a lot, 20 gram, uh, over a set of uh, regular brick cable. Yeah, it's a housing and then internally there's this uh, very fine tube that where your cables will run through them. Yeah, lightweight, right? You immediately can feel it when you start to pump on the first pedal stroke. Lah. Yeah, the acceleration is uh, typically uh, significantly for lightweight bike, so you can see that happening on this bike as well. When it comes to top speed, right? Yeah, because lightweight and the way that this setup, the geometry is meant for uh, climbing, acceleration, and stuff like that. But uh, you want to maintain speed, right? Definitely, you have to punch in more muscles uh, compared to what you could have achieved from a narrow. I was looking to get something like the Arrow, uh, maybe S Work Bench would, would be nice to have. Why, why giant again? Yeah, um, value for money, uh, affordable, and you really get very good, decent uh, quality out from Giant. And in fact, Giant was one of the world's largest. I don't know, I don't 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 quote me, but I think they are one of the world's largest uh, carbon manufacturer. They will make their own carbon for their own bikes. Okay, so we moved on to the Instagram Q&A. You guys want to ask your questions, follow me on Instagram to submit your interview questions for the next fight. Okay, so I'll start, uh, start off with the questions. There are a couple of questions here. Any problems with the integrated seat post and seat clamp? I heard it can be, uh, it rocks and uh, moves sometime. Well, you're absolutely right. It, it moves, it, uh, it somehow creaks. Uh, creaks, you know, that, that sound that you can get. And the... <laughs> I wouldn't really know what, how to resolve that problem, but the creaking is not say very often. Okay, rocking so far so good, but I do some research, right? The, the uh, giant is saying that they have improved this over from the 2020. Uh, so the 2021 apparently will have lesser rocking, but they know that this problem exists down there. Okay, the thing about integrated six posts, I know there's a question about this, but the fact that is that yeah, the way that it's being set up right now, as you can see, right, it's very smooth, so there's no disrupted lines, but you have to forgive the part that uh, you cannot adjust it um, based on whether, you know, how you want it to be. Those fine adjustments was really going to be missing from here. So, buyers out there, if you are, you know, uh, going for regular adjustments right here and where, as you see, right, this might not be working for you. But other than right. Other than that, I mean, it's so pleasing enough, so do consider that part before you make that choice on uh, ISP. Actually, if you add a carbon paste, will it help? Yeah, I've, I've done lots of carbon paste over this uh, setup that you can see here. Um, there's still some minor creaks, uh, but it's not to the extent that it's unbearable. Now, uh, do take note that because you when you put the sick mass over the ISP, right, there's a recommended torque of uh, 4 Nm, so torque, this stock is very, very critical. So if, if you go too low, then you probably will creak more. How comfortable is the integrated seat post versus a normal seat post? Okay, again, it's claimed to be more stiff. I, I wrote it, I kind of like, like it now. Because ISP itself is that thing that sets the other uh, regular seat post uh, design apart. Lah. So I chose this bike also because of that ISP. I, I really love that, that way that it it sounds and uh, it looks uh, in front of me. Is that seat post a pain in the ass? Uh, okay, I know it's going to be like a hit or miss kind of thing, right? Now, maybe I'll share with you my experience. Right? When I first bought this bike, yeah, the seat post wasn't at this level. It's, it's, a good, it's like 30 cm more than what you see here. So I chop it off. So how much to chop? Now, this is the really very crucial question. So get someone to measure for you, which I did. And uh, of course, I compensate by another one cm or more just to make sure that things goes perfectly right. Now, if you don't worry about undercutting it more because uh, Giant, this time around, for 2021, they're offering two seat masks. 
So the, what you see here right now is the regular seat mass. There's another longer one in case that you're selling a bike to someone that's taller than what you are. Do you have any personal gripes about integrated seat post? No, I don't really have. In fact, I, this is one of the bikes that I own with a integrated seat post. And looking at the mass market out there, right, I don't think there's a lot of maker that's making this, but apparently it rides so well. It claims to be stiff and um, I, I really like it. Uh, but um, look at the design. I mean, for buyers out there right, who really like that one piece kind of design, you know, take a look at uh, ISP as your next option. Why do you still have so many spaces left? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yes, slamming, slamming the stem was actually one of the good, <laughs> good way to approve, improve the looks as well as to make yourself in a more racier position. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I've not chopped quite a lot of it from here. And this right now, this setup right was very very comfortable. So I'm worried that if I'm going to chop more right, <laughs> I will sacrifice on comfort and the way my geometry is going to be. So leave it for this right now and enjoy the ride. Why buy this colorway? And and also what what colors options do you have uh, for this year's model? Okay, I chose this colorway exactly because uh, I like the transition between purple and blue. Um, so the giant called Astra Blue. Uh, uh, it, it's very p pleasing to me, la, so I chose this immediately. So the other colorway that I could have remember, right, I think is between red and blue, but then it's only offered in this setup. So here again comes to the question that if you are only going for rim, that's the only colorway that you can get for an SL model. And luckily they are still producing these frames in uh, rim brakes. Uh. And I think the color is really nice and Giant has really done a great job in terms of, you know, getting the colorways a bit different from other bikes. Is the wheel set smooth? Yeah, the wheel set so far so good, but I really don't know how to uh, feedback or comment or test a wheel set. But compared to what I had previously, right, this wheel set is, uh, yes, it's, it's there. Maybe for my personal standard, it meet my standard. Of course, there's uh, more battle wheel sets out there, but I'm, I'm willing to try every one of them and see how it goes. Would you consider deeper section wheels? Yes, I would consider, but uh, being a fact that I keep looking at weight, I, my emphasis is all thrown on weight, right? So if there's something like a 65 that weighs close to 1.5, uh, slightly, I, I'm more willing to go for it. Which day junction outlet do you get it from? How is the service? And he said he's planning to get a TCR Advance SL. I get it from Tay Junction in uh, Ubi. Service, service from them was uh, good. Um, they will recommend you to do um, some sizing, so they will do it for you. Those sizings is of course uh, not uh, you can expect out from a bike a good bike fake, but at least it makes sense that um, they you not know, take the additional step to measure and so so that you can get the right size. Why rotor crankset? Uh, why rotor crankset is uh, I could have gone for a full strand uh, setup where you can have your strand, but. Um, I like it because of that one piece which uh, Roto makes for their chain ring and the way it looks uh, was really very pleasing to me so that's the reason why I go for it. That wraps up the video for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Simon for coming out under this hot sun. Hope to see you again.